So first of all, you need to log into your Sims on a Windows computer. So log into your Sims. Once you logged in, you need to go to your main page and at the top it says reports and then you select student list and then there should be an option that says class list and then now it should appear a pop-up now you select at the bottom there my classes which is your classes so you have the option to export all of your classes however today i'm just going to export one of my classes so i'm going to untick the rest i'm going to click ok and then here is the list okay got full name gender date of birth year group and just registration group so i can add more into the file if you look on the right hand side here there's plenty of them here now i'm going to edit something instead of full name i'm going to add surname so i'm going to drag and drop and full name so if you can see, I've got legal surname and legal full name, and I'm going to delete full name, remove the column, right click, and I'm going to move it around. So surname goes right to the left, and then the full name also goes right next to the surname. So there it goes, I got a separate instead of all in one. And then I can add more, for example, I'm going to drop down, I'm going to go to additional information. For example, I'm going to add SEN status, so I'm just going to drag and drop. It might take a while it's fetching information a few moments later and then there we go i've got the information there and i'm might going to add i don't know randomly eal information there we go i've got that one as well now once you're finished at the top there should be a button that says export i'm going to click on export and then i'm going to export all lists or just the list i'm on i'm going to export everything because you just selected one the most important thing here is that option you need to make sure the output type the file right to open the format must be as Excel right so you want to open as Excel and then click OK and it's going to open an Excel file now there we go now once you're here you need to delete the first two rows you can delete that and then the last row or the last information where it says the number of males and females in the classroom once you finish click file and you need to save as so you need to save the document now here's a, here's the important bit you need to save it as an excel workbook or the format must be dot xls or dot xlsx right it must be an excel document so i'm going to set the first one and then I'm going to edit the file name. Let's say I'm going to give it a name, uh, 7A class list, um, I do so. So I'm going to click save. And there we go. I exported it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload this file to my Google Drive so I can import it to I do so on my iPad. Right, so step number two is once you exported your Excel file, you need to upload it somewhere. For example, I, I'm uploading it on my Google Drive so that I can access on my iPad on my Docio app later. Okay, now once you uploaded your document at the Excel file, now go to Docio, and then at the top here, there's a tab that uh, says classes. If it doesn't appear on the left here, click the three tab on the three lines here and then tap on classes right and then at the bottom there's a plus icon here tap on it and then it should ask you if you want to click create from scratch or add it individually just tap on class however we want to import it so tap on import from uh, xls or csv which is our excel file and then import from excel file and then you need to look for your files, right? Where your file is. For example, is it where it is? Is it on Google Drive or wherever? You need to look for your files. So in this case, I've got it right here 7a class list Idosio. Tap on it. And then now the first step, uh, it has been imported. And then the first step is to select the header. That is why. We have deleted the first two rows 
right? So so the header, which is at the top here, I've got here. Okay, and then click tap continue. And then I'm gonna select uh, the name. So in this case, I'm gonna change name, uh, surname to surname, which is here, for name to name. That's it, this is, this is just the name. Tap continue. And then this is optional data that I want to include, for example, let's say a uh, registration group, I want to add it as uh, a field group in the profile. So I can tap, tap group and then say anything else, date of birth, anything else that might be interesting. If not, just tap on continue. You can add the rest in a grade book later, which is the next step. Now if I tap on continue, now I can add the rest of the data as a grade book, which I'm going to show you how it looks like. So let's say I'm going to uh, import the rest of the data. So continue. I'm going to create this as a new class, right? And it's created a new class. There we go. Done. It has been imported. And this is a great book view here. All right, so you can see here it has imported gender, date of birth, year group, the SEN status, EAL status as a great book. Now, if you look here, that's the name, and then that's the group, the year group, the registration group, sorry, the registration group down there. Now, if I tap on this student here, let's say I tap on data, and then it's exported the data perfectly and including the group as well here. Okay, now I'm gonna close this. And then um, that's it, all you need to do. You can customize, you can change the name. So you go back to classes and then tap on the three dots here. Tap on edit and edit the class, whatever you want. Let's say seven A class and I can add year seven for example you can add an icon sign for example and then there we go done that's the class if i tap on it there we go perfect thank you for watching